Good evening, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. I'm James and this is Clearwater Fishing. And today we're talking about rod power and rod action, but no one's ever told you about these two ever before. We're gonna start off in the most simplest and generalist terms, uh, terms that you probably have already heard, explanations you've already heard. And then we're gonna go into why we use those terms and explanations and then talk about what the physical characteristics of the rod that make that happen. A real quick disclaimer on rod power and rod action. It is really not standardized units of measure. There's no standardized system that describe what exactly is a medium heavy rod or what exactly is moderate action or a fast action tip. These are all just general terms used by manufacturers to best describe their rods. So there may be some differences from manufacturer to manufacturer. So just be wary of that. Um, if you're buying all in the same manufacturer, you can pretty much trust that if you go from a medium heavy to a heavy, you're actually gonna get a heavy, heavier power rod than previous. But when you go from another manufacturer, you may not. So starting off in the most general sense, for rod power. Rod power describes how much weight a rod can handle. Whether you're flipping or throwing or casting a really heavy weight, or you're going after really, really big fish, or you're fishing in very thick grass, woods, trees, laydowns, brush piles, and you need more power, all that comes with the power rating. How much weight and force can a rod take is described in its power. This is exactly why we use weight ratings to describe rod power. Medium, medium heavy, heavy, extra heavy, all those terms relate to how much weight the rod can handle. Rod action, on the other hand, is a little bit different. When you apply force to the tip of your rod, it bends down the rod a certain distance. The further down the rod it bends, the longer it would take this rod tip to return back to straight than a rod that burnt only bent down to here. In fact, I'll just show you an example real quick. So to give you guys a couple examples, we're gonna start off with a moderate action rod. We're gonna bend it at 90 degrees. I have my foot at the handle and only supporting it at the first eye. So this is roughly 90 degrees and you can kind of see how far down it bends. We're gonna do the exact same thing with my fast action rod. I'm gonna do the same exact thing, hopefully in the same exact spot. So you guys can compare the two. Do the same thing. And note how this one bends less down the rod. Most of the bend is in the very tip of it. Much, much different between the two. I'll pop them both up at the same time so you guys can take a better look and a comparison between what moderate and fast action is. So we use terms like moderate or slow or fast or extra fast to describe the action of a rod because it determines how fast the rod is going to return back to straight. Uh, especially when we have a fish on if it's gonna be slow coming back to straight, that means it's gonna keep slack from coming in our line. It's gonna keep a little extra force and keep that fish pinned down. But on the other hand, with moderate power or less power rods, you don't have as much force that you can apply to the fish as well. Now let's dig in a little deeper. What are the physical characteristics of a rod to make it medium heavy or heavy or medium power. What's the difference between, in our case, medium and medium heavy? Well, overall, it's going to be the overall thickness of your rod. Now there's some other parts that go into it other than diameter. Uh, there's the thickness of the material that goes along in it as well. But all I can measure is the outside diameter and that's what we got right up here. So I don't know how well you guys can see my whiteboard, so I'll probably pop up a picture right here for you guys of it. But the difference between the medium and medium heavy 
as far as handle diameter goes at the handle right after put it right up here for you guys right after your handle ends the diameter there is what i'm measuring and that diameter on a medium power rod is 1330 seconds now this is not going to be for everybody uh, and also note that the material thickness is could be also different 1330 seconds on the medium power rod and medium heavy is 15 30 seconds so 230 seconds of a difference on the outside diameter of these two rods so this one's obviously going to have more material even if it is the same thickness of graphite rod it probably has a little thicker material of a graphite rod to be honest with you but i'm not cutting my rods to figure that out so those are the two physical properties that describe the power of a rod. Uh, there's another, another category here we could start digging into a little bit. What is the material of the rod? Um, that also goes into play whether you have a fiberglass rod or you're messing around with a graphite rod like I have. Uh, they have different ton ratings as well. So in a higher ton rating, you don't need as much material. That also goes into play so you have a lighter rod there's all sorts of little nuances on how to achieve medium or medium heavy rods or any power rod in, in general. Hey y'all, I'm gonna call time out right here and ask you to subscribe to the channel. It'll mean a whole lot to me. It'll keep my channel growing and moving in the right direction. This year, we're gonna have a goal of 7,000 subscribers. So I'd also would appreciate it if you shared my channel with your friends and family and got it out to more people. But anyways, right back to the video for y'all. So if material thickness and rod diameter describe power, what exactly describes rod action? Well, it's a little bit of a crossover. Diameter does play a factor into rod action. In fact, it's how the diameter changes down the rod. So faster it changes, the smaller it gets and the slower the rod is. This is also referred to as taper. So the faster the taper, the quicker it gets to a smaller tip, the slower the rod. And also vice versa, the, the less the taper changes throughout the rod, well, the faster the rod is going to be. That's how you get extra fast rods. So we're gonna take another look at the board. I took a couple measurements, uh, both 42 inches away from the handle. So for the moderate action rod, 42 inches away from the handle, we were 6, 30 seconds in diameter. Also on the, on the other side here, the fast action rod was 7, 30 seconds, which gives us the deltas of 7, 30 seconds and 8, 30 seconds. Like, hold on a second. This one has a faster taper, James. Why, why is this still rated fast? Well, it's still thicker. And it's very much thicker. A 30 second on a rod is a huge amount of difference. Also, this rod, <laughs> I, pro I should probably put this up here. I'm going to go ahead and put it up here. It is seven foot long, while this one is seven foot two inches. So this one's going to taper for two more inches versus this one. So it's still thicker, even though the taper seems to be faster it's just going to end sooner. So there's lots of things and factors that go into rod action. And you could probably tell why there's not been a standardized system made for rod power and rod action. And that's why I encourage you to buy several different rods and learn what brands work for you. In fact, I actually really like the Guggen Squad brand of rods. They make it super easy. Uh, for you and me to figure out what rod is for what technique. And you can experiment around with other brands as well and find what rods work for you in those brands. So I probably did miss something about rod power and rod action that one of you may know. Let me know down in the comments. I would love to learn myself. I'm always out there learning and that's exactly why I'm here is to teach everyone what I know. And if you have an opportunity to teach me, that's actually beneficial to me and everybody else. So I would appreciate it if y'all let me know if I missed something. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Smash that thumbs up if you enjoyed or you learned something from this video. But just like always, until next time, get out there and go catch you some fish.